Anthony. 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 Seriously, bro. How could you? How could you be so dumb? Well, as you can see, the good guys are not reacting to the album correctly, and that's why I'm making this review. So the album is Welcome to College Groove, Lil Wayne and Two Chains, and he. Oh my God, I, I'm not going to. I'm, I'm not going to say what he rated to the album. Well, let's cut to the chase. Let's talk about the features in this album. In the last minute of this video, I'm going to add my notes to every song of the album, so make sure you stay till then. Now let's talk about Twenty One Savage. There is this one thing about this guy. This this one thing about this guy that his flow is just the same in every song. You care about your bars, but if you're sounding the same in your own album, in your own song, and in features, man, what the hell are you doing, bro? And surprisingly, the flow was not the only thing about him. His mediocre bars. I mean, it was a L feature in this album. Well, big shout out to this guest appearance, 50 Cent in this one. He narrated the whole scene, and I'm gonna tell you, this guy is so multi-talented that you will never know that this guy was actually a rapper. No, he's an actor. No, he narrates the story well as well. My God, he is so good in this one. 50 just did it, just did it good. Now coming to Benny the Butcher. There is this one thing about this guy that he cannot leave his old school flow. He always want to flow in the old school way. He says that he keeps his gangster. Well, I respect that. And that's why he made Lil Wayne and 2 Chainz rap in a slow beat in an old school way. However, Benny the Butcher did a very magnificent job in this one. Anyway, unlike 21 Savage, his flow was little, just little bit faster than his usual flow, which is something new I have seen. Now coming to Fabulous, as his name suggests, his performance, his work, his artistic representation in the song was fabulous. But I want to talk about that song actually, PPA. This song gave me a rewind of Wiz Khalifa and Snoop Dogg's album, duo album, album Mac and Devin. What do you think about it? Let me know. So what did Masha did in this one? She did a magnificent job. Her song, that's the last song, Moonlight, was actually giving me the vibe. It was giving me the vibe and I love that song. So, who was weak in this one? I can't believe I'm saying this. It was Rick Ross. His flow was very outdated. His punch to the beat was very weak. He was sounding like a guy who masturbated 42 times a day. I am really, really, oh man, really disappointed with that song. As we are speaking of disappointment, the last feature of Bori, he did a lame ass job for the chorus. I'm telling that was lame ass chorus in the song Godzilla. However, two chains picked up the song like, oh wait, I almost forgot. Usher was in this one as well. Well, Usher was. Usher in this one, he was very impeccable. What I mean is, after all these years, he did not change the scheme and the theme of the songs he made. But I think it's very nostalgic. Now, as we talked about the features, let's talk about the highlight of this project. Lil Wayne, this guy, I mean, he said, he said he got a disease. He is deceased with bars. Ah, he delivered just that, man. Yes, sometimes he missed the flow. He did, he did. He is not a perfect person in this album, but he never, I repeat, come here, come here, come close, come here close. He never, never misses with bars. And that's what rap is all about, right? Well, this song is actually something I really love. It's significant other. If you were watching me reacting to this song, I, I almost cried, man. In two chains, most I cried. Thanks to Lil Wayne that he changed the flow, otherwise I was, I was, I, I would have been crying like a widow, man. In other words, Lil Wayne was like two BBLs. He was extra. And talking about two chains, though it is his sequential album. However, in some song he was very heated up. In some song he was very cool. There was one song which is actually a hype song, but he ruined the song with his flow by coming up with a soft flow. However, as I told you, I may looking like this. But Lil Wen just picked up the song and made it sound right. And that's why Lil Wen actually made a crucial impact on this song and the album. In other words, the pressure Lil Wen put in this album made it a big diamond and made it actually a crown snatcher of Utopia. Well, lastly, this is what I rate the song and these are my favorite songs from this album. Yes, this album is not three or something. Fuck Anthony. And these are the notes that I've made. And I'm sorry for the handwriting. Well, I hope you like this video. Catch you in the next one. Peace.